sterling bore brush. It's been soaking for a few hours. I'm tired. Let's make this a quick shave. This bore brush has been used about five times, so it's very young. The razor for today is the Petite Testina Gentile. This is a very mild razor, but still cuts with nice and surprising efficiency. I'm going to put my blade that I've been using lately, a feather blade. And it's nice and sharp. Um, and it just feels like it's sharper than other blades. And so when I put it in slim and um, mild razors, there's this awesome effect where it uh, just the, the efficiency and the smoothness come together in this little magical blend. It's hard to achieve with other uh, mixes. So, this is going to be the 21st use of this feather because it's been used 20 times. Uh, it just took a second to align the uh, the blades there. Didn't take very long at all. The lather bowl I'm using today, this is the extra large version. I'm going to put a link to the files for this 3D printed bowl. So if you have a 3D printer, then you can choose uh, between the different sizes. Um, this is about a uh, 140 millimeters between the inside lip here. And this is the size for me. Plenty of room to move around and work my lather. Speaking of lather, it's going to come from Sterling Barbershop. I like Sterling a lot. And uh, barbershops are, are not a scent that I enjoyed when I first started in this hobby um, but I've come to really enjoy them now and uh, this one smells really good this is a used puck I bought so I saved some money really nice really happy with it so uh, now just splash some water prep my face <clears throat> Bore has been soaking for plenty long enough. We're just going to do a 30 second load, no water on the puck prior to now. So take out the brush here, shake it so it's just lightly wet, and then we'll do 30 seconds. Ah, and zero right there. Rolls around. The Samogs I'm training up at the same time as this one. They've already gotten very comfortable. This one, however, is still kind of scrubby. It's not quite as comfortable. So I'm looking forward to when it changes. We're getting lots of foam there, and that's 30 seconds. And I'm just going to rinse off the sides here. Now you can see this cool brush rest in action. Works great on all the brushes I've tried it on. So we're going to do this for just a little bit. And this is going to work the soap that's on the brush and combine it with the water that's in the brush. Once that kind of stabilizes, then we will start adding. I'm pretty confident that uh, the one teaspoon added right now is not going to overdose it too much at all. So we can go ahead and do it a little faster. Um, I think I looked and I think my notes on the last time I used Sterling was about three teaspoons of water. Let's see if that holds up. Sterling brush, Sterling soap.
another teaspoon in. So now we've got two in. nice looks like it'll be plenty enough for the shave let's see if it needs more water So two teaspoons are in, and we'll just do about a half, and then we'll just check it after that. shape here. Check it again. Reasonable cushion. Definitely feel the ridges on my fingerprints. We'll go ahead and try this guy out. One more time with water on my face. Okay, load up the brush for the first pass. This knot is nice and it has a lot of fibers. So let's just see how it feels. Bore brushes do need to soak before, or to be wet before you use them. It's like shaving with a broom if you don't. The bristles actually soak up water, absorb it, and then become much more pliable. Yeah, so this is still quite scrubby. A lot of backbone. Very interested to see. I mean, if, if this level of scrubbiness keeps up, I'm probably not going to keep the brush around, but I'll bet it gets better, gets smoother once those tips keep on splitting. Looks good. The uh, scent is not very strong on this barbershop. All right. Enjoy. I enjoy this fatigue. The glide I'm getting is really good with this soap. With sterling, you get about almost six ounces for the price you have to pay for, you know, three or four ounces of the other stuff of other brands. It's a great value. Very good performer. I like, it. I like tons of their scents. I think most of my collection from Sterling is in their family where they're duplicating a popular cologne fragrance. Uh, 
and nice and slick and done and comfy. And let's uh, lather up for the second pass. As always, we're not trying in that first pass, not trying to knock down the hairs completely. We're not trying to eliminate the hairs, just trying to reduce some of the length of the hairs gradually each time. switch to just a painting motion here got this lather nice and slick this is high performance lather uh, you can uh, had a nice feel to it as I rinsed if I wanted to touch more creamy I could do that but I didn't over hydrate it Another thing I can do is after I rinse, I can blot my face dry, which would uh, back down the water content just a little bit um, and make it a little bit more creamy. All right. Very comfortable. I do feel the blade cutting. But it feels great. There are definitely other smoother blades that work, uh, that are more comfortable in this razor. But I don't think they will usually trim me up as cleanly as the feather. And rinse. Shave's looking really great. I don't feel any irritation. I maybe see a couple of little slightly red areas, but they're kind of typical, and I don't feel anything regarding them. All right, last lather up here. Now it looks like if I want a little bit more margin with my, uh, now, okay, look, I've got the lather here in a great place in the brush to show you. But as you can see, it's not really in the brush. It's kind of just on the side of it. I'm actually going to push that back into the bowl. And I'm going to jam the tips down into the lather so that it gets in and amongst those bristles. And that's a much better way to do it. At least, in my opinion. I guess a 30 second load is about right in terms of uh, soap quantity, lather management, because I probably have enough for another pass, and that's all I really want, just in case I booger one up. This is a very mild soap. I like the way it smells. I wish it were stronger. Fatips are also great razors because they're just about $25 and they are, can I see a hair, a br brush bristle on there? They are brass on the inside and then they have plating like nickel plating or chrome plating and so they'll, they have the capability to be lifetime razors unlike the 
Mercours and Edwin Jaggers. Those kind. I can't remember if the, the Muley razors are stainless steel or if they're Zamac slash pot metal like the men ones I just mentioned. One thing about the Fatips is that sometimes they have alignment issues or manufacturing issues. Um, but I, I've, I've enjoyed mine a lot. Trying to pick my direction so I don't stir up any. Pick my direction very carefully so I don't stir up any. Yep, that's a great close shave. Sure looks like it. So I don't stir up any razor burn. That's what I was trying to say. All right, I'm gonna rinse, take a look at everything, maybe do some cleaning up of some hardware, etc. Uh, this lather's giving me great rinses. Uh, nice luxury feel, super slick, not extra viscous. I could back off the water a little bit and have it be a little bit more creamy, but I love this one as well. And the water we used was two and a half teaspoons for uh, 30 seconds of loading. You know, next time I do it, I might load for just a little longer than 30 seconds. Just have a little extra, uh, a little bit more in the bowl. I mean, I had plenty, but... I don't know. This kind of feels like I want just a little bit more to make it easier to mix up and stuff. Sissel's guy is definitely one of the slowest ones to splay and split of the group. Um, he's got lots of hair fibers in there. We really need to see what happens when he matures. So he's a little bit rough right now. I would not want to shave with an aggressive razor that's kind of on the edge of comfort for me. Because this little guy is going to kind of abuse your skin just a hair, maybe stir up some burn. Um, um, just because that's just where it is right now. All right, so this is the uh, Roger Quintero bowl. Uh, this is the extra large size. If you follow the link in the uh, description, you'll see three different sizes, and this is the biggest. Um, and I, I just, I just love it. Brush, brush works brush rest works great um, and the um, it just it just stirs up that lather uh, terrifically and I can hold it really well uh, around the bottom um, sometimes I hold it by the side here when I'm washing out my brush in this little part here so really enjoy this wonderful gift I am a little disappointed at the strength of this barbershop it just uh, uh, it's barely perceptible during the shave. Darn it. I really like it when I stick my nose up into the soap puck, but it's just not that strong. Darn it. Probably give it a couple more chances. Um, maybe back off the water a little bit. I don't think that usually changes the scent strength enough to matter. But we'll give it a fair shake. Got an excellent cut. I think maybe I saw one hair with some length on it. Uh, but uh, if this is my trouble spot. Really happy with the closeness I've get, been getting lately with this feather. And um, I think my fat boy uh, yielded the blade just a little better than the than this particular um, razor here. But you know that's just the way it goes. Put these aside to wipe them off and I'm going to put just a little bit of water on my face because I've got a sterling balm that I want to use and having a wet face just makes it easier to move around. Slightly wet face. They sent me a sample of Tuscany and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's got almost a fruity scent to it, more like a plum or strawberry or grape, you know, something in that family, not like apples or anything, or not citrus, but um, it's also got this awesome spicy bite to it, 
And that is why I bought it. And this is uh, the other ones I've gotten used, but I like this fragrance so much. I went ahead and bought it brand new. I want to support the company as well. And uh, yeah, it's got this um, kind of sweetness to it, but this nice little uh, bitterness or, or bite to it, tanginess um, that I almost like wild cherry, wild cherry. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, I don't know if that's exactly what's in the, in the thing, but that's the vibe I'm getting. And sometimes, you know, those wild cherries have a little bit of bite and, and that's, I find that very intriguing, uh, enjoyable at a, at a general purpose type of, you know, often use it during the shave kind of experience. Um, and I feel like it, uh, just something that kind of makes me happy at the end of my shave. Uh, usually I'm about to go to bed and so I don't really need some thick cologne type product as an aftershave, uh, but when I'm laying my head on the pillow, but this one suits, uh, suits it just fine. All right, we're all done. Very good shave, happy with it. It wasn't quite as close as the uh, fat boy the other day, but uh, but still, very nice shave. I, I feel a little bit of irritation kind of down here somewhere. Um, and, and I didn't feel anything at all yesterday because I, I had it back down to a, a setting of three, a pretty low mild setting. Um, so this guy was uh, a little bit different. Who knows, maybe the feather is changing now that we're over 20. Who knows, I wonder if it'll start acting up or if it'll be like my Nasset and be able to go quite a long way. Well, we'll see. Um, wanted to try that in this razor. So this isn't quite as good of a combination with a, a mild razor with, the, uh, with a feather blade. Um, the uh, pre-war tech was better. The uh, Mamba was better, and the Fat Boy was better, and those are some of the ones that I'm able to pull out of recent memory. So it's not quite as good as uh, those, those others. Uh, so, but everything else is tremendous. I'm glad I got this balm. Really like the uh, the scent, the spicy notes that they added into it as well. Very intriguing, and. Uh, I've already mentioned that the boar, how he's really scrubby right now. Hope he softens up soon. And I think we're good. I hope there's something here that uh, helped you out. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Take care and good night.